In this video, we will solve literal equations for a given variable. So what is a literal equation? A literal equation is an equation with two or more variables. So an example here would be the area of a triangle formula. The area is equal to one half times the base times the height. There are three different variables in this equation. Another one is distance. Distance equals rate times time. So this is an example of a literal equation. Notice how there are no constants in that equation. There are also no coefficients other than one in this second equation. All right, so we're gonna compare these two equations. We're gonna solve each one of the equations below for x. In this first equation, this is one that we're used to seeing. So we're going to add 5 to both sides, get 2x is equal to 18, divide by 2 so that x is 9. Here we actually have a value for the variable. But what about here? If we want to solve for x, what do we have to do? Well, we have to get rid of the b first by adding b to both sides. When we add b to both sides, we're left with ax on the left, and b and c aren't like terms, so we just write them down, c plus b. They're not alike, and they're not being multiplied, so we don't just write them next to each other. Then to solve for x, we notice that we are multiplying by a, so we'd have to divide by a on both sides, so that x is equal to c plus b divided by a. What I'd like you to do is write about two or three sentences on the similarities and differences between these two equations. When we're actually solving literal equations, we're going to be given a variable that we want to solve for. So we have the area formula here. Area equals length times width in a rectangle or a square. And we want to solve that for w. So we're going to ask ourselves two questions. What operations are going to be are being performed on the variable that we're solving for to begin with? and we notice that w is being multiplied by l. To be able to solve for w, we need to undo those operations. So we'll need to divide by l on both sides. When we do that, we're left with w is equal to a divided by l. Notice that we've isolated the variable w, and we now know what it's equal to. It's equal to the area divided by the length. These next problems are going to be on your own. I'd like you to answer these two questions for each one of these problems. So I equals PRT, and you're solving for T. A equals pi R squared, and you're solving for R. M equals C minus S. D equals M divided by V.